My dear Ellen Kendall, hearing from me after nine years must indeed seem strange, but I can assure you, sufficient reason prompted this long silence. Having just heard of my wife's passing, I at once reasoned the honorable thing could only be to again assume my paternal duties, forsaken low these many years. Rest assured, good lady, we here at the landing have a beautiful home, healthful food, and a cultured atmosphere with which to provide my son. Cultured atmosphere? Hell, the only thing Ed Sansom cares about is boxing and trophies. He would know culture if it slugged him in the mouth. That bastard's got a nerve leaving his wife and kid. And then drop it out of the damn sky after nine years. Well, maybe we shouldn't send him after all. I've got enough mouths to feed. I say send him. He needs time. He just lost his mother. He's barely gotten settled in here with us. That mama's boy gives me the creeps. He's wandering around here with that long face like he's looking for a tit to suck. I'm Amy Scully. You may call me Miss Amy. Please, where's my father? Your father is not well, nor is cousin Randolph. Randolph will be most unhappy that he missed your arrival, but I thought it best that he stay in bed. I've always considered this the finest room in the house on account of the view. Cousin Randolph was born in this bed, and his mother, Angela Lee, died here, oh, not so many years ago. We've never used it since. We haven't any modern plumbing facilities. Cousin Randolph is very opposed to contrivances of that sort. My father didn't say anything about you and, and Randolph in his letter. Oh, Randolph is a friend of your father's. Well, my father's in my father's house. Yeah, my old man's mean and snot. Him and Mama thinks Florbell's little Miss Precious Puss. To never make her go live with that tacky Aunt Doris. Well, at least your father didn't just up and leave his family. See, my dad got this job in Washington. He was the president's main advisor. And he was real rich and had a mansion close to the White House. But all that went right to his head. He thought he was too good for us. So he left Mother and took up this highfalutin society lady. Then this woman decided to take him for all he was worth. And so she did. She stole his money? Idabelle, wicked women have their ways of getting men to give them their money. How? What kind of ways? Tell me. Well, I don't think it'd work for you.
How is Joe? He gonna be all right. He ain't come to yet. It'd be a day or two, but the fever done broke. I reckon that don't please you at all. What do you mean? I mean what I said. How dare you say that to me? You know what I was thinking? While them white boys was pounding me with their fists and their dicks. I was thinking that from then on, I ain't never gonna be used again. I laid there praying and crying and some kind of peace come on me. Just washed over me like nice, sweet, cool water. And you know what that peace told me? That peace say, Zoo, you ain't got to be a nigga if you don't want to be one. You can be a fine Negro woman. It's up to you. I got to take Mr. Ed his breakfast. I think maybe you can pour your own coffee. Mr. Randolph, is that you? It is I, and little Joel is with me. Oh, it has been a mighty long while since you come here, Mr. Randolph. Not since you was a child, much like that sweet boy. You used to come toting your drawing book. Don't you know that if I came here as a child, then most of me never left? I've always been, so to speak, a non-paying guest. At least I hope so. I should so dislike thinking I'd left myself somewhere else. We've come for Joel's charm. You have one made for him, haven't you? Oh, you bet I got it. Good seeing you, Mr. Joel. My mama used to work here, cleaning this place. All her life she lifted and toted for the rich folks. Told me she used to daydream about living here. <laughs> Wanted me to mount to something. But I always know that I won't never amount to nothing. So I stayed here after everybody left. In this chair room, I'm somebody. And every night I looks to the heavens and I say, look -a here, mama. This room is mine. Now, ain't you proud? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, we drink to your outstanding success, my friend. You must drink with me. <laughs> <laughs>